is up my sexy ass friends right now i'm bringing you guys a leg day with me and john obese to beast if you don't know who he is check him out the link will be in the description below but we're using the polaroid cube camera that's what it's called and one of our uh, supporters came up to us and gave us all one of these cameras so three of those me lp and o2b and it's basically like this very very small like one inch by one inch cube that has a magnet on the bottom of it and you can magnet to you know anything metal in the gym so it's great for getting all these weird angles like this one for example i think is very very cool because my head the bar is in one still position but then you're watching the world move and you're watching my hips move and whatnot it's very cool you can also see my massive butt wink that's what i get for going too far ass to grass without doing enough stretching and mobility work which i will do in the future i I, I will, I will, I swear. Anyways, guys, what I did was squats first. And what I've been doing is squats first in most of my leg workouts, and I'm doing at least five sets, but up to like eight or nine sets. And um, I've been doing kind of higher rep hypertrophy work, but I think I am going to start working on some strength as well. Now, I took strength out for a little bit because of that spinal problem I've been having, and I've been working on it, been doing dead man hangs and, and some stretches and some fascia rolling and stuff, but I will admit I haven't been on, on point as much as I should have been with my you know rehab exercises and stuff trying to take care of it just because it's been so busy but uh, my back is feeling pretty good though so I've been loading on a little bit extra weight yesterday I didn't get this on film but I did hit 275 pounds um, for a set of I believe six astrographs so that felt great there's my Jen Selter ass by the way dead ass dough now we got John over here doing leg press while I was doing the squats and the reason he was doing this is because his knees I believe were hurting or his hips were hurting something like that and I want to just let you guys know that you don't necessarily have to do squats or deadlifts like that just seems like you know the correct compounds and whatnot but I went like I think six months without doing any squats and I just did leg press and like very heavy isolations and lots of like burnout work and stuff and I still grew my size you know it's not it's not necessary that you do the compounds it's just recommended because you're able to overload weight and progress so if you can do them I suggest that you do do squats and deadlifts and bench and all the, all the regular stuff but if you can't it's okay too you can train around it don't worry also guys, you can take this workout that we're doing as kind of a beginner workout, but really a workout that anybody can do. What we're doing is two compounds, right? So he started on leg press, I started on squats, and now we went to the hack press together. So now we're doing a second compound. Then we're gonna move on to isolations and hit each muscle individually. See what I'm saying? So if you wanna just uh, create a beginner workout, all you gotta do is put two very nice compound exercises that you enjoy, and then follow that up with isolations to finish off each of the muscles individually. And you'll be doing a very traditional bodybuilding routine. Now you guys know this, this is the glute abduction machine. Now a lot of people think that this is too girly to do or whatever, but this is an awesome exercise to finish your glutes off. And this will make you have that big, nice Jen Selter round bath. So when you do this, make sure that you're hovering above the seat a little bit. Make sure that you're sticking your butt out and keeping your back in a neutral position, you know, nice and erect and you're squeezing your butt. Think about your butt. Don't think about other muscles. Think about just your butt and squeeze it while you do it. You might in that ankle though. So I wanna tell you guys one last tip before I give you guys updates for what I'm doing next month. When you're doing these exercises, it's so very damn important that you control the weight. And I, I don't know if everyone knows what controlling the weight means. That means when you come to the top of the movement, the momentum stops. You, you stop the momentum. You're not just swinging the weight up and then dropping it and then having the momentum fling it up and then fling it back down to the bottom of the rack. When you come to the top of a rep, squeeze the muscle that's involved in the actual movement, realize where it is, make it work, and then slowly let the weight back down. It's so important to have a slow negative when you're doing this. Now, next month's updates. I wanna tell you guys what I'm doing. Um, first, in the beginning of the month, I'm going up to Signal Hills in California, so that's up north. It's a little bit past LA, um, up north. And C.T. Fletcher is doing his gym opening. The mayor's gonna be there cutting ribbons and whatnot. Everyone else that you expect to be there, you know, Cali Muscle, Big Rob, everyone's gonna be there. I'm gonna be producing a video for Ice Story as well as a couple other videos, just capturing a lot of workout footage, a lot of screaming, a lot of motivation. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so that's gonna be really sick. And then at the end of the month, I'm going to fly to Denver, Colorado with LP as well, and we are going to film CT working out at a very special gym. You guys probably already know what it is, but also we're going to film him doing a meet and greet at a supplement store where a lot of people can come in and meet him, and it's just gonna be a lot of you know energy and a lot of fun, so that's gonna be really cool. So both of those CT events are gonna be awesome vlogs. It's gonna be 
sweet content to show you guys and I cannot wait to take you guys all with me on those events because it's just mind blowing to me that I'm even traveling to do these things and being a cinematographer. It's so cool. And a quick thank you to my sponsor Isatory for actually signing me as their cinematographer and giving me the opportunity to do these things. It's so freaking cool. Of course, as you may or may not know, you can get 15% off their products using my code HUMORS15. The link is in the description below that helps me out, helps them out, and it's really awesome you guys are supporting. Now, Body Power is in just eight weeks, guys, and I want to look good. I want to look nice and crisp because I have gotten a little bit fluffy, a little bit of water retention and whatnot, so I am going to start a cut at the end of this week. It'll probably be a first week recomp, and then we're going to go into the cut, but I will give you guys progress updates on that. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching, and also leave a comment so I can know what you're thinking. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much again for coming into the video. Big J. Live to your die, Myron! <laughs>